Given triangle PQR is equilateral with center C, which of the following statements is false? All right, so here we have a series of right triangles that are all congruent to each other. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We see that the short leg is A, the long leg is eight, so we can fill that in here, eight, 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 and eight, and the hypotenuse is 2A. So 2A is here as well, and 2A is here as well. We know that this angle here is 60 degrees, since we have six central angles, so 360 divided by six is 60 degrees, which makes this angle 30 degrees, since this is a 30, 60, 90 triangle. So let's get started. The measure of angle TQC here equals 30 degrees? Yes, it is. So that is true. A equals eight times the square root of three. Well, let's see. The ratio of a short leg to a long leg in a 30, 60, 90 triangle is a to a times the square root of three. We know the long leg equals eight. So if we divide both sides by the square root of three, we get a equals eight times the square root of, over the square root of three. We'll multiply this by one like that to cancel out in the denominator. Uh, we get three down there. So that becomes eight over three times the square root of three. So this is false. This should be over three. So this is our uh, answer to this problem. Well, let's look at the other two. So the area of the triangle. Area equals one half the perimeter times the apothem. So the perimeter here is 16 times three, which is 48. And the apothem is eight times the square root of three over three. So these cancel out to 24. And then we have over three times eight times the square root of three. This cancels out to eight. So eight times eight is 64 times the square root of three. So is this equal to 64 times the square root of three? 16 squared is 256 divided by four is 64. So this is true. And here you can see that PC is 2A, CT is A. That is a two to one ratio. So this, that is also true. The answer to this problem is B.